Okay, in focus, please. Okay, my name's uh, Shane, but they call me Spike on the Water, and I've been here farting around with my type form for uh, a couple months off and on. I got it accurately working on my website to fulfill a bunch of my needs, to uh, collect customer information and make sure I can respond in a timely fashion with um, you know quick notification and quick responses because uh, anytime a form is filled, if you set it up properly, it'll send you an email. Now, what I'm cultivating now in our off season, I'm here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We beautify boats. And uh, a question I had was, how do I actually uh, get an accurate rate and process the billing? Um, you know, utilizing the Stripe platform, which I have integrated here. I can collect money through my forms but we have some very, very specific services that require some very, very specific numbers to get a very, very specific rate for our customer to get uh, serviced. And um, so I figured it out. I figured it out. I wanted to share it because I was searching for videos and I couldn't find nothing. So I thought I'd make one. But um, basically, if we go through the, the type form here, let me just open it up. Uh, this is an emergency form and it's just like last minute they're like freaking out and they need to get service. Uh, completing this order, uh, completing this order will guarantee it shall be done. Uh, date the service has to be done. None of this matters right now. Uh, is it a powerboat or a sailboat? Boom. Uh, the marina or yacht club it's at? Boom. The slip ID so we can find the boat. What's the name on the boat? Ha ha ha. Okay. Do they need a deck service? interior service or a hull service so i don't know what you're actually selling on your websites but we do our services in a few different areas and they come with very certain rates um this is just the basics uh one from each section uh decks at 15 a foot interior at 20 a foot and the hull at 10 a foot now uh the next section is going to require that they tell me their length overall which is how we decide how big is this boat that we're going to show up and clean so we build it by the foot so we got to know how many feet of boat that we're actually cleaning so i'm gonna select um 30 to 39 feet is in the range and then i had to build in another form that lets them get very specific we're going to call it a 35 footer so right now i'm getting my rate 525 bucks to go and uh, clean up this 35 footers deck last minute 15 bucks a foot is the rate so let me show you inside uh, what I did there um, basically with uh, the initial selection uh, I you know I, I, I picked uh, a, a pitcher choice okay so that that's done and it says the rates on it so it's obvious um, in the calculator which is this thing right next to the logic jumps and logic jumps are in here as well but um so if the user answers dex then add 15 to the sum of the variable price right if they answer interior then they're going to add 20 if they answer hull they're going to add 10. so that's the basis we're going to add it up from there um save that now where all my logic jumps come into play is uh, trying to get the customer to travel through this site really quickly and be able to se select their length overall a boat um, so I've got a uh, question group um, starting with how big is this boat anyways and then um, the first question is um, Length overall from here, we'll pick, we'll pick the range and then we can dial it in from there. So if they choose from, um, you know, 20 to 29, I've got a logic jump that will um, jump them to... the range of 20 to 29. Now as soon as they select one of those, uh, in the calculator, what I have is to multiply, let's brighten that up for you. So I've got my initial rate, which is adding, 
and now I'm throwing in a variable that's going to multiply that rate. So say you're saying selling tickets to something or you got, you know, t-shirts and they want to buy five of them and uh, you want to multiply that rate. I had a lot of trouble with this. So call me crazy, but uh, I finally figured it out. And so for each one of those, anytime they selected, I had to put in if user answers, right? You got the range there, then multiply by the sum of the variable price by 26, right? They select 26, I wanna multiply that rate by 26. Save, so when I go through the actual type form, um, you know, it, it becomes simple again for my customer, because I, I want them to, to, to have like zero stress. I just, you know, I'm, I'm the guy that stresses out and does all this crazy stuff in the off season to, you know, make sure that they're boating experience is is easy peasy so there we go dex so it's adding 15 bucks to the sum of the variable price now we're going to figure out their length overall we're going 30 to 39 range and we're going to get more specific we're going to call it 34 and it comes up with a rate of 510 so now they can go ahead and just enter their credit card and boom I get a notification that it's been paid and we can show up on the day that they selected and perform the service. Boom, easy peasy, last minute, nice and breezy. We work, they play on the water every day. Thanks for watching and I hope this is helpful to somebody working with Typeform right now. You need a pro account and you need a Stripe account to actually collect money through these Typeforms, but um, both of them are you know, um, you know the. You can check the rates for yourself, right? It, it's not free, but it's totally, totally making a difference in my business. So thank you very much, Typeform, and we'll see you on the water.